Dominique, what's up, bro? How you doing, Quinn? Hey, man. It has been an absolute pleasure working with you <laughs> on this project, man. We finally got this last shoot done. Mm -hmm. uh, we went down by the dam. It looked absolutely beautiful. We got the um, the Mafia Girls mm -hmm. shot. Uh, we got the truck shot. Mm -hmm. And it has been going crazy on, on all the social media stuff. <laughs> well, I mean, how could it not? I know, right? <laughs> this thing is absolutely killer. But now we actually get a chance to meet the man behind all this, correct? Yep, we've uh, we've been teasing that for a minute. So, I know, right? Uh, one and only legendary Ron Brogan. Come Ron, on in. come on in, man. Hey, how Dom, you how you doing? Good to see you. Hey, all right, you all too. right. What's up, Ron? How you doing? I'm doing good. Finally, after almost <laughs> two years, the dream comes alive. The dream comes alive. Well, first off, I want to say shout out to the mafia, the Bills Mafia. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Here we go. Let's go Buffalo. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> so, Ron, man, you know you've created a cult here mm -hmm. with building this beautiful rig of yours. But every all the fans now want to know how it came to be, what was your motivation, and you worked with, with Dominique, you worked with Brad, you worked with Colin, you worked with uh, Anthony. Mm -hmm. Tell us how it all started. Yeah. I also say Scott with Peterbilt, mm -hmm. Anthony. Yeah, well, you said Anthony. All right, so mm -hmm. Pete from Nationwide. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah. yep, <laughs> Pete. Yep. There's been a lot of hands in this. A lot of hands in this. Yeah, yes, it has. Cool. Yeah, it came together. All, all you guys, you made my dream come true. But you know, I, I don't know what side we come from. I'm from Buffalo originally. So okay. Deep seated fabric, whatever you want to call it. Buffalo Bills fan, diehard. <laughs> um, I've also <laughs> been in the. Also been, <laughs> Been in uh, been in the trucking industry for since since the eighties. Okay. And, uh, I think it's a dream of probably from what I know, every truck driver to have a long nose peep. Exactly. And exactly. My favorite color is red. I'm winning. <laughs> I am winning. So uh, for for the pat well, I, I came off the road back in ninety eight. But I had back then a double eagle. It was 120 inch. That was big back then. Yes, it was. This that used one, to be the standard. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And this one here is a 168. Oh, wow. And okay. And it's uh, the wheelbase coming out at 356. It's the longest that you can get with Peterbilt, Kenworth. So, but uh, a couple years ago, um, I have a one or I had a 144 before this one, Kenworth. And uh, a couple years ago, I was up in Montana in the winter. Mm -hmm. And it was about a negative 33 eee. and uh, kind of got a little cold yeah and i got to thinking and i've been in florida for probably 20 years I had a hot tub <laughs> and uh boy i got to thinking boy sitting in this cold i sure could use a hot tub right now <laughs> so i just in my mind it started clicking and and on top of that i'm watching tv sure could use a fireplace so i put both of those in there And, and I see that's that's one of the key things that has fascinated the world about it. You actually have a jacuzzi in your truck and you got your fireplace. And we took a and with some of the other videos that we shot. They actually get a chance to tour your truck. And like I said earlier, it's blowing up on social media. So and to actually hear in your own words what inspired that is really, really cool to uh, get firsthand. Yeah. So was it? What was the biggest challenge of putting all this together, Ron? Uh, time. Time. <laughs> the yeah. time it took. Especially, you know, and I, I hate saying it like this, but boy, when COVID hit, uh, you order a truck, they could probably within a year have it back yeah. before. Yeah. And it just parts and all that other stuff. You know? Yeah, it became an absolute yeah. headache. Yes, yeah. it did. So, you know, that was the... To me, the biggest challenge, the rest of the stuff, I just think these crazy things and try to make it happen. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, in my other truck, I got I got a white Kenworth and it's got the big Buffalo Bills on it too. And uh, uh, I, it's so fun going from different city to different city. Bills Mafia is everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. I love, that's, that's probably the, I got the funnest job. And that's, that's what I was going to ask you and Dominique next. What inspired the Buffalo Bills logo on the side of 
the truck with the mafia. What explain that to everybody? Well, the fans are the Buffalo Bills fans are known as the Bills Mafia. Got you. Okay. So that's that's where it came from. It started a few years back, uh, and uh, so it's just to be part of that group is uh, awesome. Yeah, I've yeah. noticed them stealing with you too. That they are that they they are a tight knit group. Yeah. Yes. And there's a reason why they got a title to themselves. Yeah. They are a tight Best fan group in the world. Mm -hmm. And you actually have a, a website and everything, or a social social media following on that them as well, right, Ron? Yeah, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, and I'm gonna do more. I'm gonna start now with this camera system that I have put in here. I wanna start video, uh, doing videos on where I go, because I have people, a lot of my friends and family, they tell me they live vicariously through me. Ah, so, okay. So I, I got with Dom and said, let's put a camera system in here. Yeah, we have uh, some a couple motorized cameras on it yeah and... that way we can upload them into the social media you know and uh and you, you from what i understand right you were telling me earlier you actually do tailgating parties and oh, everything yeah. with this correct oh yeah you got it this is this is a tailgating beast here i you know, bet so air i hooked you up with an extra like hdmi yeah thing. yeah yep. they got uh -huh. it so that I, I i got a 50 inch tv that i can bring out and we'll have an awning here we're, we're going to be putting on and then i got my grill and of course, every time I'll try to have my mafia girls with me, <laughs> you know, we mean business. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we had an opportunity to we'll see come. some of them uh, the other night we were shooting. Right. And that was actually very, very it makes cool. Makes it fun, you know, <laughs> so. So, and, uh, now one of the things I was just telling everybody in uh, earlier is that this truck is actually getting ready to get more popular by coming down to the Mid-America Truck Show, correct? That's right. Louisville, right? And yeah. Dominic, you're going to be right there in front of it. And, uh, Ron, you're going to have the girls down there. Yeah. And it's going to be handing out some cards and photos of the truck that we, we shot and everything. So, guys, you got the man right here. So, yeah. the man is more th more approachable than you would ever think. So, don't be afraid to walk up to him and ask him for an autograph. Yeah, Ron, <laughs> Ron's not a trucker. Ron's Ron. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, right. Ron, is it anything that you would like to add or, or thank at this point? Yeah, well, let me add w one other feature with this truck. Yes. This is the tallest sleeper they've ever built. Oh, okay. It's as tall as my uh, trailer. Oh, wow. By maybe an inch or two. And so, so you're standing, what, mind, 13, 13, what, 13, 4? 13, 4. Wow. So, in my mind, I'm thinking maybe I need a diving board. <laughs> you know, so you never know. I don't know. We're just it's it, it's in the I'll let you figure that one out, Ron. <laughs> All right, so, Dominic. <laughs> so but yeah, we'll we'll you know, CRS Customs gonna be down there with ARI at the show and we'll be here with the truck, you'll know where to find it and mm -hmm. if you wanna see it in person and yeah. meet the man and uh come check out our team with ARI and oh, yes. we'll be there. Yeah. So anyone that sees me on the road, I always tell people, log on to uh, Mafia on the Move, upload your picture, because people just love spotting me all over the place. Tell me where you've seen me, and uh, we'll just keep this thing going. And uh, this truck will be hard to spot, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You'll, you'll never notice it, you'll, you'll never see it. Right, right. Now, before we leave, I want you to explain, because th this is not the police that's behind you guys. These are actually your lights that are flashing yeah. now behind mm -hmm. us. Explain that to me. It's, uh, it's for tailgating. It's, okay. Uh, and I'm going to also have a train horn put on so that uh, third down, we're going for the third down, that train horn's going to blow, and then <laughs> you know, we'll try to get, get some more uh, stuff, you know, when we, when we have touchdowns. The uh, strobe lights go, the horns will go, and, you know, just a big party, celebration. <laughs> One day, we're going to win the Super Bowl. <laughs> One day, that's right. <laughs> right, that's as right. Think, you know, year. I was wondering. I was wondering as we it were was coming close. to the end of this build. Yeah, it was close. <laughs> yeah. So, so, guys, this is gonna wrap it up for this beautiful shoot with Elegance on Eighteen Wheels. But like we said, come down there to the Mid America Truck Show in March, twenty twenty three, and check this truck out in person. Videos and photos don't do it any justice. You really right. need to see it. Yeah. And Ron, will people be able to take a tour with you sure. when they get down there? Yeah, we're gonna let people in to see it, and uh, of course, we get our we got our our pictures of what the truck is and what's in it. Um, probably have the mafia girls on the, the photo too. Maybe you get some signatures. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so. All right, guys, you heard it here first. We got the man, Ron Brogan, and we definitely got Dominique Midland from CRS Customs. This is Quinn, Elegance on Eighteen Wheels Magazine. We'll see you guys next time.
right. Take, care, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, everybody. Take care, everybody.